Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 128. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 120 to 132. Hey, uh, trick number 128 and 129 are exciting, because we're going to talk about a common mistake for if and V lookup. Here is a common mistake. People have some discount rates, right? If their um, amount is greater than 59 and less than or equal to 80, and then they set up the next category, greater than 80 but less than or equal to 100. Notice how it's coming down here, and then there's some differences here. There's two problems with this construct, and if you make just a simple change, you can make your life so much easier. Um, first off, you have if you have inconsistent, here we have a less than or equal to and a greater than. Here it says greater than or less than. Right off the bat when you have that situation, you cannot use VLOOKUP because this formula to look through this whole table is going to be horrible and huge and long. However, if we look down at this table, if we set it up where the bottom value is always included, so it's greater than or equal to 0 and less than 59, and we keep the categories, the, the greater than or less than symbols, exactly the same all the way through, then we can use VLOOKUP. It is unbelievable how much time and effort this saves just by making a few adjustments. There's just a few instances that will be um, different than this as long as we set up. So the, the main point of this video is if you have categories like this, consider setting them up like this. Now let's just go look at what you'd have to do if you had your formula set it up here with inconsistent symbols. I'm going to click in this cell right here, and I'm going to hit the F2 key. There it is. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this right now, but I do have a video if you scroll up here. Um, YouTubers love Excel number five. If formula too long, use VLOOKUP. I actually go through all the painful steps of setting up a formula exactly like this. And if you really do have a situation like this, you can't use VLOOKUP. You have to use this construct of if and and. So go watch that video. But that's just painful. Anytime uh, you have a situation like that, you should set it up like this. Now, let's see how to do this using VLOOKUP. And our goal here is to get, and I'm going to highlight just this area right here. And we have our little table, right? And here's our amount. We want to grab whatever the amount here is. We want to grab the percent and subtract it from 1 and multiply it. So here, if they are paid within 80 uh, up to 100, but not including 100 days, uh, they would get a 10% discount. So the amount that they would owe is 90. So let's do it here. Equals. And we're going to have to open parentheses 1 minus. And now we're going to do VLOOKUP. And the lookup value is this right here, comma, and the table is this. Now, just a moment ago, we talked about this. This is literally how Excel sees just this first column. This column is not needed here. All you need is a 0, because Excel will interpret it. It'll bump into a bigger value and jump back to this. So anything actually less than 59 will fit into this category. Okay, So we, we have our table there, and we're going to use the F4 key to lock it. Now, comma, actually, let me scoot this down here because we want to look at it. There's the table, comma, what's the column? It's the third column. That's the thing we want to return. So we're going to put three, comma, and we want um, approximate match because we want it to, to zoom through here, bump into the first bigger one, and then jump back to the, the uh, next row. Guess what? We don't need anything. If you, you could type one or true, so you could type one or true, but by default you can leave it out and it will work just fine. Okay, so that is the VLOOKUP. Then we need to close on that because VLOOKUP will just deliver the percentage, right? So for a hundred, it'll actually return this one right here because a hundred is not included here. Remember how this VLOOKUP works? It goes through the first column of the table and when it bumps into a value bigger than it, in this case it bumps into 200, it jumps back to here. All right, and then times this amount right here. Now I can control enter and there we go. We can copy it down. And there we can see that that worked. So um, just be aware uh, this is um, torture on yourself. Uh, this is uh, making life easy. All right, see you next trick.